Lisa Purisima is the Secretary of the Department of, the, of Finance of the Philippines. He's here talking to us about the work that he's got cut out for himself in terms of reducing the debt of, of the country and increasing its revenue capacity. Thank you very much for speaking to us today. Um, give us a sense of the objectives that you've set for yourself both on both sides of the balance sheet, collections and debt reduction. Well, Emmanuel, before I answer that, let me give you an even bigger picture, uh, the agenda of President uh, Aquino, which is really to uh, reduce poverty in the Philippines by accelerating economic uh, growth rate. Uh, we're one of the few countries that has continued to grow uh, since 1998, even through the global uh, economic uh, crisis, albeit at very low levels. And that's where you never the challenge... You never growing in that. Yes, uh, but uh, we need to grow around 7% on a sustained basis for many years if we are to attain the objective of President Aquino of really reducing uh, poverty in the Philippines. And uh, he's come up with a program that uh, some refer to as economics no? uh, with four pillars. The first pillar is uh, fiscal sustainability and macroeconomic uh, stability. The second is really reducing infrastructure gap allowing for uh, businesses to be able to uh, improve their competitiveness uh, in the Philippines. Uh, third is uh, uh, simplifying uh, procedures and processes to ease doing business in the country. And finally, to continue investing in our people, which has really been our main uh, source of uh, uh, competitiveness in the past. No? Now, in my, in my area of responsibility, which is on the fiscal part, no? um, our goal is uh, to reduce the deficit to 2% of uh, GDP by the end of 2013. And we believe we're well on the way towards uh, doing that. When we took over uh, in June of last year, the deficit was way beyond the program already. In fact, uh, most analysts were saying we were going to have 4.2%. Uh, uh, no? Uh, but we came in uh, below what the, their projections were. In fact, even lower than the program of the previous administration, which was 3.2% uh, uh, of uh, GDP. Uh, we came in lower than that. And our program for this year is 2.6% of, uh, uh, 3% of GDP. And again, we're w within that. No? Uh, and we did this uh, two ways. No? Uh, first, by implementing zero-based budgeting on the expense side. And uh, second, by uh, uh, improving uh, administrative efficiency in collecting uh, taxes. On the tax side, uh, the president has a promise of no new taxes until we close the or reduce the holes in our system. Based on our calculations for the first 12 months, we've improved collections close to $2 billion, 75 billion uh, uh, pesos. And that's really by close coordination of the two revenue uh, uh, agencies, by uh, using public uh, information to help us uh, target uh, uh, tax evaders and smugglers. I believe personally that all transactions are mirrors, no? uh, market share data, uh, data from other countries, no? and you can manipulate this to arrive at expected taxes from industries or uh, companies. And we're building the IT, training the people, and developing the processes so that this can be uh, sustained. Um, on the expense side, uh, in fact, I think we've overdone it, no? except that, uh, uh, that the key really is reducing wastage and corruption. Uh, we believe that even with the same amount of expenditure, you're able to get more benefit to the public. I'll give you a very simple uh, example. Uh, the project approved in the previous administration, 18.7 uh, billion pesos worth, dredging of a lake. Now, and the president stopped it because uh, the uh, volume of mud dredged would be back in three years because the source of the, 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 the siltation like, yeah. has not been addressed, which is the den denudation of the watershed as well as the human settlement around the uh, lake. So the president said, we're just wasting $18.7 billion. Uh, no? And again, from the low interest rate environment, from the debt swaps we did, and again, the improved confidence in the Philippine uh, uh, government, we were able to reduce interest expenses. No? Just in the first four months, that's down 23 billion 
uh, pesos, which is almost equal to the uh, conditional cash transfer program of the president in supporting the lowest quintile of our uh, population. And that's really at the heart of our strategy. Uh, it's really not uh, being uh, Scrooge or anything. It's being smart about the whole process, increasing revenue and deploying the hard-earned revenue uh, to make sure that it's aligned to the programs of the uh, president. Uh, we haven't fully achieved uh, the ideal situation because we're investing in the bureaucracy. Remember, we just brought in ministers, that the bureaucracy is the same. So we have to invest in them, invest in technology, uh, in the culture, in the training. Uh, this takes time. But uh, we've had the results uh, already. As a result, uh, we've been upgraded four times, uh, with Fitch putting us a notch below investment uh, uh, grade. Honestly, I think uh, we should uh, be probably closer to investment grade uh, already today because of your capacity to pay and the fact Many that you've things. never defaulted uh, never defaulted we're a net creditor country uh, our uh, foreign reserves of uh, 71 billion dollars and growing is bigger than our foreign debt our uh, debt to GDP officially is around 51 percent but if you net off the bond sinking funds that our law requires us to maintain we'd be closer to 42 uh, which then, uh, percent. Which, which then begs this question, is the Philippines um, a slave to foreign debt um, in terms of um, its inability to build its own domestic capital market uh, and to, in fact, facilitate FDIs to, you know, to take up some of the slack? Well, actually, that's uh, very far from what's happening, no? from the truth. Uh, in fact, our borrowing uh, program this year is only 25 percent foreign. 75% uh, local, uh, and it's been increasing ever since. There's enough liquidity, actually, uh, in the local uh, capital uh, markets to fund our uh, uh, deficit, except that I believe it's prudent to maintain our investor base, uh, you know, maintain uh, investor relations, maintain our, uh, uh, you know, you never know what we, we, when we will need them. Right. Uh, your, your your picture of the whole overall picture in terms of the, 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 the big picture of, of, of uh, the, the projects or, that you have in mind on the fiscal side begs a few questions. Um, uh -huh. uh, I guess you gave a, a, snip, a, a snippet of, um, of uh, uh, your, your, your refocusing your, your investments um, on, on productive activities such as the, um, the, the civil service and the, and the work that needs to be done on that front. But as a politician, don't you see or do you see the need uh, to also be investing in some very visible uh, productive assets that the population can get a sense that um, you know this this government is um, is is taking us somewhere with with the um, fiscal prudence and support. Oh, place. definitely. I was just describing the first pillar, uh, which is fiscal sustainability and macroeconomic uh, uh, stability. The second pillar, which is. Uh, infrastructure, uh, reducing the infrastructure, infrastructure gap, I think is what you're referring mm -hmm. to. And uh, the president actually launched a PPP program immediately after taking uh, office, building on the experience of the Philippines in the past and learning from mistakes then, with a focus now more on solicited projects so that there's more transparency to the process, so that projects that we launch under our program will stand scrutiny even beyond the term of President uh, uh, Aquino. Uh, we have identified 10 uh, projects. One is already up for uh, tender. We're a bit delayed because of uh, the need for feasibility studies, and uh, we want to make sure that we do the right feasibility uh, study. So hopefully we can launch about five uh, this year and many more uh, uh, next year. The key is uh, building this uh, uh, framework that would go for sustainable uh, process of uh, PPP. and. Uh, we have a very ambitious uh, plan. It cuts across the tourism infrastructure, uh, agriculture infrastructure, uh, mass uh, transit, water, uh, power, uh, really to improve uh, infrastructure across our country.